In a messy morning, we have snow that is still falling across the area. It's been going on since about 4 o'clock this morning, and it's going to continue to build up through the course of the next uh, few hours, right until just before lunchtime. For many of us, you certainly see what's happening everywhere you look, even in the areas where there's uh, no lighting to, to help the, the, uh, the cause here with our imagery. But you can see in, even in the pre-dawn moments in Grand Meadow and Lake City, there's snow on the landscape. Here in Rochester, snow has been going on for a few hours. We have almost 3 inches on the ground already. Uh, there are signs though that the snow is beginning to weaken a little bit. The, the, uh, the, the snowfall rate is uh, being to uh, slacken a little bit, so that's a good thing, but uh, we are still looking at some slow moving conditions on the roads and of course on Broadway. That's the current image as we look outside live with our Lewis Donato camera in the heart of Rochester. We do have a first alert day and we've already seen why it's going to be kind of a tricky day on the roads, especially for the morning hours. Snow goes on uh, until lunchtime for many of us, ending a little bit earlier uh, for many of us as well, though. From Rochester to the west, it'll be done before lunchtime, but look for as much as six inches of snow in the area. The range overall one to six inches uh, north to south, basically one to six inches, and it goes on until noon today for the entire area. As we look at future track satellite radar, uh, easy to see where the center of low pressure is just south of us. You see activity swirling up and around it. The, by and large, the, the uh, main band of snow, though, has been east of it, and that's normal. Uh, typically, we see that enhanced uh, snowfall uh, happening just ahead of that low pressure area on the Minnesota side of the border. Some of the darkest coloring from around uh, Decorah up toward uh, Preston and Chatfield. That's where activity is falling most heavily. Now, Rochester, in the last couple of frames of imagery there, uh, as we look at the, the, the radar satellite loop, uh, we are seeing some of that activity begin to slowly weaken. As, as I saw in the weather patio moments ago, not falling as heavily as it was about half an hour ago, but we are still at the very least going to be dealing with light snow for a few more hours. So we have almost three inches of snow on the ground. Another inch is a safe bet here in Rochester, and much of the area will see up to four inches or more uh, as that center of low pressure continues to trudge eastward. Right now, Winter Weather Advisory runs in, uh, until 3 o'clock for our easternmost counties around Rochester, Austin. It goes until noon to the west of that. Uh, that advisory expires at 9 o'clock this morning. Things are much lighter to the west side of that low pressure as we saw on radar. 26 right now, Rochester uh, 28 in Plainview, Mesa City 28, Rushford 30, and right about 33. It will briefly get above freezing, but most of the day will be spent in the 20s uh, with sub freezing conditions and, of course, we'll have snow for the first half of the day. 26 right now, in Rochester it feels like 14. The winds 14 miles per hour now from the east uh, and right now air pressure is steady as that low pressure nearby snow maybe even a spot or two of freezing drizzle don't be surprised if you see some of that happen just have a very brief period of dampness a little bit of icy coating maybe on top of that it's snow uh, and on the windshield maybe later today same deal happens tonight maybe a more of a widespread scenario with late night and early morning freezing drizzle saturday uh, and then maybe some rain snow showers for the middle of next week tuesday wednesday maybe even a thursday of next week 28 for that uh, morning commute sloppy roads as we just saw and yeah, you don't have to probably say that, but uh, certainly that's what we're going to be talking about. Snow conditions this morning slowly wet, letting up uh, temperatures climbing from the 20s to low 30s, topping out around 33 early this afternoon. Again, two to four inches overall in Rochester to the south. It will be in that same range up to four inches southern Minnesota, North Iowa, lighter amounts northward toward uh, Wabasha, Reed's Landing, up to Tileman and Zabrota and uh, to the southwest, uh, Albert Lee, Mesa City, five, maybe six inches in a few spots. Temperatures topping out around 33 today, steady around 30 30 tonight with a spot or two of freezing drizzle and late in the night. But here's future tracks. Snow goes on until lunchtime. Things drier in the afternoon. Uh, tonight we will have dry skies until about 4, 5 in the morning. Tomorrow we see the possibility of some freezing drizzle popping up in a few spots. That is a possibility for the wee hours of the morning. Then we get above freezing in the afternoon and mist and drizzle with mid 30s tomorrow afternoon. 35 Rochester, 35 in Charles City with a light breeze and gray skies. We'll have maybe a peak at the sun Sunday. Otherwise, just quiet weather. We're grateful for that. And then above freezing temperatures for highs anyway, much of next week, and that leads to interesting uh, prospects with our forecast. But today is 33. Snow goes on for this morning, 2 to 4 inches southern Minnesota, up to 6 inches in parts of North Iowa. Tonight, there's a spot or two of freezing drizzle uh, after midnight. We'll have that uh, with gray skies and a lighter breeze. Lows around 30. Seven-day forecast, freezing drizzle early tomorrow. Rain and snow showers. You may see some snow accumulation next week, but also rain at times. And, of course, we will sort that through as we get closer. But in the meantime, today, just... Be uh, careful on the yeah. road, be extra, extra careful. You always want to be careful, but mm -hmm. be safe on the roads. <laughs> yeah, a lot going on on that seven-day forecast there, Ted. Very active pattern. <laughs> Thank you. Well, you know what time it is. It's Friday.